Good evening ladies and gents, I'm KD, these are my Leaf Diaries. Today's Tuesday evening, so I'm shooting a quick video to uh, review a daily driver for me, one of my favorite cigars. And of course, uh, for those of you that follow me, it wouldn't be that much of a surprise, it's the Ramona Leones Superiores from La Casa del Habana edition. Now, one of the reasons why Ramona Leones is one of my favorites, alongside La Gloria Cubana and uh, Bolivar and Partagas, is because it's a full body cigar one of the oldest cuban brands established in 1837 and one of the brands that is responsible for a lot of innovation when it comes to cuban cigars especially around packaging the the infographs on the on the boxes were first introduced uh, with ramona leones the now standard packing cigars in an 898 format for a cabinet of 25 again comes from ramona leones Ramona Leones first introduces cigar brands as well. And it's noted for its rich, full body, strong, pleasant experience packed with flavor. As I've mentioned before, um, Ramona Leones Superiores is a La Casa del Habano edition, um, specifically to be sold in La Casa del Habano boutiques. Um, La Casa del Habano boutiques um, is a special tier of Habano shops, which um, basically is allowed to stock La Casa del Habano edition cigars. The way you can distinguish a standard production of La Casa del Habano production is this additional line here, which is a burgundy type, uh, not type, burgundy color with a leaf and the, the, it basically says La Casa del Habano. So in general, Cuban cigar shops are tiered the lowest tier is your standard tobacconist they're allowed to sell uh, any cigars alongside habano cigars then you've got habano specialist for um, a shop to gain accreditation as habano specialist they, the shopkeeper or people that work for the shop sorry the shop owner or the people that work for the shop owner need to undergo the special training they need to go and certify that will give them access to Habano specialist edition cigars and limited edition cigars. The, the difference between Habano specialist and La Casa del Habano is the actual second band. On a La Casa del Habano here, we've got the burgundy um, ring with the single leaf. Habano specialist is a golden ribbon or golden uh, band as a second band with two leaves representing Habano specialist and La Casa del Habano. And finally, we've got the La Casa del Habano tier of shops, which is the highest tier. And in those shops, you can find any and all editions of Habanos, even the most rarest. Um, they are specialized shops. To become a shop like that, you need to undergo more training, more certification, and you're not allowed to sell anything else in that store apart from Habano cigars, you need to undergo rebranding of that shop. You need to make sure that you are um, representing the Habanos brand and the La Casa del Habano brand as well. Superiores was released in 2011 in very limited quantity. Again, only exclusive to La Casa del Habano, so it was a very sought after cigar. Since 2011 to this day, aficionados are raving about this cigar and they're looking for this cigar because the price point is very good and the quality of the cigar is amazing. The Superiores is Vitola de Galera Hermosos number four and it measures 127 millimeters by 48 ring gauge. But enough blabbling, let's get down to business, let's get up close and personal and let's cut it and light it. Okay, now that we've got it lit and cut, it's just amazing. Every single bit I love about this cigar. There's nothing that I don't like. I've smoked so many boxes of this cigar 
and I've never had a plugged one, never had any issues with it. Very, very good cigar. As I mentioned, this is the uh, band, the second band that shows it's a La Casa del Habano edition cigar. It's a full body cigar, a lot of rich notes, a lot of uh, woody, earthy notes. Um, as you go through the cigar, maybe mid term, mid towards the middle, it becomes slightly sweeter and a bit peppery. Very, very good cigar, and you can pair it with pretty much anything you want. But I'm pairing it with something interesting. I don't know if it's special anymore, um, because I've been talking about this quite a few times, but it's definitely interesting. Now, what makes it interesting is the way I'm going to prepare my drink. And this has been, I've been told how to do this from a friend of mine who recommended this way. His name's Raj, he's part of my cigar group, he's a great guy. Let me show you what I've got prepared. This is the contraption that I'm going to use. So Raj, this one's for you, mate. <laughs> um, I hope you like it. So this is what is called as a glass warmer, which is a very fancy way of saying that. This is a stand that you put your glass in you put a tea candle inside, you light the candle, you pour some cognac, you put the glass with the cognac in the warmer and it warms up the cognac which will help it open up its notes and it will make it a lot more aromatic and flavorful. So let's try it. There we go, our tea candle is lit. I'm gonna drop it like so in the glass warmer and we're gonna get some of our favorite cognac, Hein, rare. Oh, I love this sound. We're gonna get a brand new tumbler just for the occasion. Um, I'm gonna put some cognac, this much. And we're gonna gently put it on top of the glass warmer. And the finished result should look something like this. I've been told this should happen quite quickly within a couple of minutes. Um, what I've been told also is to gently try and rotate the glass so it doesn't overheat the cognac very quickly. Uh, let me put away the cognac and as we are having a chat we'll wait for it to warm up. This is a very fancy way to drink cognac warmed up like this. Um, this is a first for me, at least at home. I think I've had it before in a restaurant, but this was a long time ago and I didn't really know um, much about cognac at the time. Not that I know much now, I'm more of a whiskey drinker, as you guys know, but I'm trying to get myself more educated around the cognacs because they're a brilliant pairing for a cigar. So as the, the, the cigar develops, it now gives out some deep, dark chocolate notes and some roasted nuts. It's, it's a really beautiful, beautiful cigar. So as the glass starts to steam up, I think I'm supposed to stop with the cognac warming. Yes. Uh, let's put out the tea candle. Okay. As you can see, the glass is kind of steaming up now. Um, so this is the point where, wow, the aromas. Let's try it. Oh my God. For those of you who, who have not tried this, I strongly recommend. This is outstanding. Like, I, pff, I'm lost for words. I don't really know why I haven't tried this up until now. Granted, it's not gonna be good for summer, but for nowadays, for winter, like autumn, this is the absolute bomb. Amazing. Especially with this cigar, it's just spectacular very good pairing and something that I'm probably going to be doing a lot more often in the near future 
as as winter comes especially as the starks likes to like to say so um this is it from me um, very very quick video during the week like i said very strongly recommend this cigar if you haven't tried it go and grab one you will not be disappointed i think it's the cheapest la casa del habano edition vitola um spectacular spec much better than quite a number of other La Casa del Habano edition cigars. So definitely worth it. And if you can give this a go, mind you there's plenty of other tutorials online on YouTube that will teach you how to warm up a cognac with like a hot water glass underneath. It was a bit complicated for me so I invested in one of these. It's 20-30 quid on Amazon. Just search on Amazon you'll find it. Put a tea candle inside put a glass on top wait for like two three minutes until the glass starts uh, steaming and you're done the experience much worth it so yes that's it from me i'm trying to plan for some more travel vlogs i'll see what i can do um I might do, depending on you know what I can achieve with certain contacts, I might do Italy and I might do Bulgaria and squeeze something else before Christmas as well. It all depends, so I can't promise anything right now, but let's see. I also have uh, an in-person event that's going to come in very soon as well. And don't forget to uh, check out my Telegram group if you're interested in a very active cigar community. That's the group for you. Um, we raffle off a few accessories every now and again, and we are searching for active users who are genuinely interested in a in a conversation around cigars rather than just sit and you know uh, read or uh, are looking for cigars. We don't sell cigars. We can't help you with cigars. We are there to educate. We're there to to talk to each other and to 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 have a a nice laugh as well. In the group, I also organize um, events, uh, both in-person and uh, remote over Microsoft Teams on a monthly basis. The next uh, HERF will be on the 8th of November, so tune in. All my links are in my bio. You can find them in the description below of this video. Um, so yeah, that's it from me for now, folks. Do like, share, follow, all the rest of that good stuff. Any questions, please post them in the comments below. Don't worry, there's no silly questions. I'm more than happy to answer all of your questions as long as I can. And if you've got any suggestions or any requests that you would like me to review something or, or, or show you something, feel free to ask me in the comments or join my telegram group, telegram group and ask me there. Again, absolutely happy to do so. So, I'm KD and these were my leave diaries ladies and gents enjoy your evening and have a great weekend week ahead not weekend the weekend is not yet here <laughs> i'll catch you in the next video